Hi there, this is Chris, Chapman Account Motor Legends. Today we're going to look at an item of motorcycle security. We're going to be looking at a padlock and chain from the British company Squire. It's called the Beer Moth. Here at Motor Legends, we haven't always been keen to get involved in what I suppose you'd call the motorcycle security business. Clothing is what we are experts in, clothing is what we know, and we do get concerned about making promises that ultimately we can't keep. Now, a couple of years ago, we took on a motorcycle security device called the Light Lock. It was a very thin, flat chain that went around the wheel of the bike. Nifty, quite impressive, lightweight, so you could roll it up and easily put it in a pannier or in your top box. Under this sold secure, scheme it was rated gold and that seemed pretty good to us. To be fair we did always suggest that part of the benefit of the light lock was its deterrent effect in that if somebody was going to steal a bike if your bike had a light lock on and the one next to it didn't then your bike would be the one that was probably going to be left alone. But a couple of, their, of our customers had their bikes stolen when they had light locks fitted and we felt pretty bad about that. And then we heard about this guy in the US, a guy called the Lock Picking Lawyer. Now this guy has a YouTube channel and basically on that channel he tests and tries to break and destroy padlocks and chains. And he had managed to get through the light lock, albeit with some pretty fancy Japanese knives, he'd managed to get through the light lock within a couple of seconds and that was enough to convince us that we needed to move on. Now more recently we were approached by the British company Squire and they wanted us to check out their padlock and chain, a padlock known as the Beer Moth. Now they termed it the world's strongest padlock. And it's certainly, when you look at it, it is pretty impressive, but we felt that we had heard similar claims before. So we wanted to do some research before we took it on. Well, we've done our due diligence and I have a feeling this is a padlock and chain that we really can get behind. So this is the padlock that our insurance company specified we had to use to make our containers that we have here in the yard at Moto Legends to make our containers secure. It's a perfectly acceptable padlock. This is the padlock and chain, however, from Squire, the Beer Moth padlock and chain. It's somewhat large. In fact, it's almost comically large. And this Excuse the noise. That's the chain that goes with it. The padlock operates by means of two separate locks here, so you need to have both keys to open it. The chain has links that are 22 millimeters in diameter, and the chain itself is 1500 millimeters in length, so one and a half meters. This really is the mother of all padlocks. It measures some 15 centimeters in height, so that's about six inches. It's 100 millimeters wide and 62 millimeters deep or in terms of thickness. It weighs 4.3 kilogram. That's pretty much the same weight as a woman's shop put. You could pick it up, but most of us are not gonna be able to throw it particularly far. What this means is that this is not the kind of padlock that you're probably gonna carry in a pocket. And I would suggest, certainly once you marry it with the chain, that you're not gonna want this in one pannier of your bike. A very minimum, if you're gonna carry it with you, you'd need to put it in a top box and secure it so that it didn't move around. You should also check that if you are going to go for a device like this, that it will fit through the wheel, that the chain will fit through the wheel of your bike. Because on my bike with the large discs and the small wheels, it will only just go through the spokes of my BMW R9T. On the Ducati, I've got a Ducati Desert X because it's got a larger front wheel. It'll far more easily go through that. But if you're going to invest in the kind of money, we'll come back to this later, but if you're going to invest in this kind of money to secure your bike, obviously you're going to have to make sure that it works with the bike. Now, the padlock comprises a 100 mil hardened steel body, or rather it's made up of a 100 millimeter hardened steel body. The closed shackle is a 20 mil shackle, and it's made from a toughened boron alloy steel. Under the latest sold secure standards, the padlock reaches the highest level, which is now called diamond level. We've mentioned the padlock has two barrels. So as I've said, you need two keys, but the barrels are each fitted with six cylinders. So if you're going to 
pick the lock, you need to pick six different cylinders. And within the locks, you've got anti-drill protection. So this is not gonna be an easy lock to get into. Now, even though this looks like a padlock that you wouldn't wanna mess with, you can't always judge a book by its cover. But in essence, what we're gonna do now, we're going to tell you why we think you're never gonna find a padlock that is stronger than this one. Clearly, as a clothing specialist, we are not really equipped to gauge just how strong this lock is, but nor are we prepared to blithely accept the claims of the manufacturer, in this case, Squire, about the lock. They say it's the world's strongest production lock, but how are we to know? And so, for our support, we are going to rely on the investigations of our friend, the guy I've mentioned before, the lock picking lawyer. And that's because this guy spent many hours in dubious company, obviously, learning how to pick locks. He has access to the kind of samurai knives and automatic weapons that we don't. In his video, he confirms that the diamond rating of this lock under the Sold Secure Scheme means that it should withstand the attack of a cordless angle grinder with three discs and a spare battery for a period of 10 minutes. And I think that's pretty reassuring because there are gonna be very few circumstances in which someone's gonna have 10 minutes to attack your bike. If it's in your garden at night, someone's gonna hear that and so on. So 10 minutes with an angle grinder, that's gonna put most thieves off. Now, the lock picking lawyer with a full suite of lock picking tools working from the warmth of his office on screen was able to pick this lock or pick these locks, the, the two of them, in about three minutes. Now, again, that's not particularly confidence inspiring, but you can bet your bottom dollar that before he went live and recorded that piece of lock picking, he had spent many, many hours practicing. I think it would also be true that even the most skilled lock picker working from your garden at night would not get close to that three minutes. I think I would also suggest that if there were somebody who had such refined lock picking skills that they would be looking for larger returns than the proceeds of your stolen motorbike. So to test how strong this padlock really is, our lock picking lawyer friend decided to bring in the big guns. In fact, he decided to bring in the very big guns. They went down to the range and they started shooting at the padlock 5.56 five, rounds. Now, the 5.56 five, round is a round that you find in lots of NATO forces rifles. They shot 60 rounds at this padlock and it didn't seem to have any effect on it at all. Having reached that conclusion that that wasn't going to do it, they then moved on to 308 armoured piercing rounds. They fired 40 308 armoured piercing rounds at this lock. And after that, the padlock was still basically intact. They hadn't impacted upon it in a great way, although it's got to be admitted, it did not look particularly pretty. And so they decided that they had to raise their game. They were getting a little bit hot and sweaty down on the range and it was becoming expensive because they were firing bullets at this padlock and they weren't making progress. And so they turned to 25 mil BMG. BMG stands for Browning Machine Gun. Obviously that's a, a very old gun, but they are known as 25 mil BMG rounds. And they are frightening. They can penetrate an inch of steel from a thousand yards. They'll pierce an armored personnel carrier. They will go through eight inches of reinforced concrete steel from the length of a football pitch. Yet it still took 20, 25 mil BMG rounds to break the lock. And even so, even when they did that, I think there was an element of luck involved because a couple of the bullets actually went through the, or nicked and eventually weakened the boron steel shackle. And when that went, obviously the lock came apart. But even when they had done that, the basic padlock was still relatively unscathed. It would still have held strong. I will leave the last words to the lock picking lawyer himself. He concluded his trial by stating, this is definitely the strongest padlock in the world. No doubt about it. Now clearly there's no way that we or anybody can guarantee that your bike will not get stolen, whatever measures you take, whatever security devices you, you look at. If somebody can break into the safety deposit box or the safety deposit vaults in Haddon Garden, then somebody can grab your bike if they really want it, if they want it enough. They're unlikely, in our view, in any real world situation to be able to get through this padlock and this chain, but of course that's not the only way to grab your bike. But I think most bike thieves will look at this padlock and look at this chain and just go, there's gotta be easier ways of making a living. 
As we've said, it won't work on all bikes. So what you've got to do is make sure that a chain, this thicker 22 mil chain, is going to go through the spokes of your wheels or somehow th through the frame. You'll also need to make sure that you have a similarly strong ground anchor because that could become the weak point. This is the one done by Squire. It's called the Himalaya and it is also like the lock, diamond rated. Obviously the garden fence, it would be daft to secure this to anything less strong like the garden fence because that is just gonna defeat the point. Is this too heavy to carry on the bike? Personally, I would think so. I certainly wouldn't, wouldn't want this to be in one pannier, it would ruin the handling of any bike. I'm not sure I'd want it moving about in a top box either. Although where there's a will, I suppose there's a way. The only thing that we can be clear about is that if you want to edge things in your favor in terms of security, the best padlock and chain that money can buy is the beer moth from Squire. At 650 pounds, of course, it is not cheap, but that's less than the excess many of us have already on our bikes. And then of course, there's the hassle involved if your bike does get stolen and the likelihood of increasing premiums if you do lose your pride and joy. If of course, the insurer will insure you again. Well, I hope you found that interesting. If you'd like to learn more about the beer moth lock, then click on one of the links on the screen. Sometimes they're up there, sometimes they're down there. That will take you directly to the relevant page on the website. There you can check out the spec in a little bit more detail. You can check on availability. And obviously if you want to buy the lock there and then you can do that. When you do buy from us, we try to make the process as simple, straightforward and risk-free as we possibly can. There's no delivery charge on any item of protective wear and we are including the Beomoth padlock as an item of protective wear. We offer totally free returns and what's more, we give you a full 12 months in which to decide whether you do want to return something to us. We have the best price promise in the business. Now, John, John Lewis, used to be rightly famed for its never knowingly undersold price promise. Well, we go one stage better. If you can find a competitor of ours selling anything that we sell at a price that is lower than ours, we will beat that competitor's price by a full 10%. Now there are a few terms and conditions associated with what we call our price beat, one of them being that the competitor's got to be in the UK. But if you want to check out what those terms and conditions are, go over to the website and you'll get full chapter and verse. If in the future you'd like to see bulletins from us about new product launches, then again on the website there's a piece of script that says newsletter sign up. Click on that. In future you will be in business. If you prefer, however, to get your information videographically, that is to say in this form, then we would be simply delighted if you want to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel and you can do that by clicking on the button below. Finally, I'd like to make mention of our fabulous little shop here at Moto Legends. We are based about a mile from the centre of Guildford, a mile from the railway station. And it's a small shop, as I mentioned, but we have, the shop is attached to our warehouse where we have more than four million pounds worth of stock arranged over three floors. Technically, that makes this the second largest motorcycle shop in the country. But we think that we are far more than just the amount of merchandise we have here in the building. We're about service, we're about personal fitting. If you want to check us out, visit Trustpilot. We have the highest five-star ranking in the business. And when you come to see us, we'll serve you only the finest Italian Illy coffee, or we'll serve you proper Yorkshire tea in a proper teapot. And who knows, if you're lucky, you might even get to sample one of our delicious motorcycle-shaped shortbread biscuits. Anyway, this has been Chris. I hope to talk to you again soon.